me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And today I'm going to give you my top 10 shoes that I want and I could have had, but either due to retail price, either due to other shoes releasing, etc. I had to go ahead and put them to the wayside. Eventually I'll get them, but they aren't in my collection right now. So I had to do a video. So stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below a shoe that you really want, but either the retail price is a little bit too high you're waiting for them to go on sale so you can cop them just any shoe like that just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section also if you aren't subscribed to the channel what are you doing man hit that subscribe button takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when i drop future videos now enough talking let's get into this list man first up i got to do an honorable mention and the honorable mention that i want to include is the timberland slash hardwood classics collab with the east and the west shoes i need those shoes but 200 is too high of a retail price to get them and they sitting so hopefully i can uh, find somebody with either a finish line discount or a journeys discount so i can go ahead and get that for the low because i definitely need them shoes but i can't pay 200 for them also the champion slash timberland collab the blue ones or the gray ones i really like those shoes but 200 retail is way too high so I can't pay that price. I need them at like maybe 130, 140. I can definitely get those shoes at that price. So the honorable mentions are those two Timberland shoes. At number 10, we got the Jordan 12 Winterize Edition. A lot of people like either hate or love this shoe. I personally like it because I want like a stylish winter shoe that's not necessarily a boot. And 12s is my favorite shoe. And it's all black, so that's just like a win-win combination. Retail 200 is way too much. I pay around like 130, 140 for them. And I mean, at the most, maybe 150, but I can't pay anything over 150. So until they get to that price point, I'm not playing 200 plus tax for Winterize 12. So number 10 is the Jordan 12 Winterize Edition. Coming in to number nine is the Adidas NMD TS1. This shoe is basically an NMD, but they winterized it and, and made it more like a boot. So you could wear this in the snow. And since this shoe has boost technology, you already know that this shoe is going to be comfortable. Like they've already did like a winterized version of the Ultra Boost already. So they finally gave NMD a shine this year. And I really want the all black version, but unfortunately like retail on that shoe is 230. And I'm not paying 230 for a NMD boot. Like the most I pay is like, I wanna say like 130, 140. And every time that shoe went on sale, I couldn't find it for around that price. But eventually that, I will find it for that price because the price is steadily like going down on that shoe. So for number nine, I got the Adidas NMD TS1. Coming in at number eight is the Reebok Answer 4.5. This is basically like the Answer 4, but they added a sleeve to the like sock liner uh, because you know, A, I love wearing like sleeves all the time in this game. I'm a fan of um, Answer 4s, I love them. And they made a couple colorways that's decent. So I gotta give me a pair of those, but retail I wanna say is either 130 or 150 and I need them for under 100. If I can't get them for under 100, I don't need them in my collection. But I definitely wanna get one of those shoes. So coming in at number eight is the answer 4.5. Coming in at number seven is the Reebok Currency Question. Like, I like the colorway and I like the shoe, but retail was like 170, 180, and I'm not trying to pay that price for some questions. Like, the most I pay is like 120, 130. And I've seen them go for that low of a price, but every time I've seen it, another shoe came in the way of it. So eventually I'll get that shoe for that price. It's just not in my collection yet, man. So number seven is the Reebok Currency Question. Coming in at number six is the Nike Air Max 270 Hot Punches. I really like that colorway. That Hot Punch colorway on it was real sick. And when they released, like I could have got them for retail, but I kind of snoozed. Other shoes was coming out and I probably could have got this shoe for lower than retail, but once again, I snooze. So eventually when I get some bread up, I'm gonna have to get it either for retail or a little bit below retail, but I definitely want those shoes in my collection. So number six is the Air Max 270 Hot Punch. Coming in at number five is the Asics Gel Light 3 World Map Edition. Like uh, a lot of people either hate or love this shoe, but this shoe is like somewhat limited. Retail is like either 150 or 180. I forgot, it's like in that price range. 
and I thought that was way too high for this shoe. So I kind of thought that this shoe was gonna sit, but it's pretty limited, so it's not really sitting. It's sitting for retail, but you're not gonna find it for under retail anytime soon. So I might have to go ahead and grab that shoe one of these days. I just haven't had the money to grab it yet. So coming in at number five is the Asics Gel Light 3 World Map Edition. Coming in at number four is the Reebok Answer Legacy, um, the white and black ones. Every other colorway I've seen in this shoe has been trash, but the white and black ones with a little bit of gold in there, that colorway is so clean. It's like a mashup of the Answer 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, if I'm not mistaken. And like overall, the shoe looks like a big bulky dad shoe. And I'm not really a big fan of the silhouette, but that colorway on that shoe is definitely on point. So I need to get that. But retail is like 150, 160, and I'm not paying that for um, Answer Legacies. I need that for at least 120. 130 so if i can get it for that price i'm gonna definitely go ahead and grab it so coming in at number four is the reebok answer legacy coming in at number three is the reebok question cameron slash dipset edition i really want these shoes and like i've been seeing them for 110 120 but i just haven't had the opportunity to buy them when i had the money free either another shoe got it or i had to like pay a bill or something like that but i definitely want these shoes in my collection definitely a classic shoe and you guys know i like cameron i like dipset i gotta have this shoe in my collection so coming in at number three is the reebok question cameron edition coming in at number two is the reebok answer one white and red edition um i want to say this is the first time this colorway is retro so a lot of people who loves iverson shoes has been like grabbing these up and these recently just released so like the price hasn't dipped down yet like i want to say retail is 150 160. i want these shoes at either 110 or 120. if i have to like bite the bullet and pay retail i'll pay retail but i'm just hoping that i can get it for a little bit lower than retail when i get the bread i'm gonna definitely have to add these to my collection definitely a great colorway so number two is a reebok answer one white and red colorway coming in at number one is the fila grand hill 2 hall of fame edition i always wanted the grand hill tools but every time they released this shoe the leather didn't really look quality but when they released this hall of fame edition that like material used on the shoe looked crazy and this was like a complex con exclusive eventually they released on the fila website and i completely snoozed on that um retail is like 150 no actually retail is 120 and i'll pay 120 for those but i just gotta like find them i'm sure they're gonna pop up on ebay so when they do i'm gonna go ahead and pay that bread but i definitely want this shoe and due to me not really paying attention they snooze right on past me but they are still available so i'm definitely gonna get this shoe eventually down the line so number one is the feel like grand hill 2 hall of fame edition all right guys that wraps up my top 10 shoes of 2018 that i missed on either due to retail price like me completely snoozing or like I didn't have the money at the time. Comment down below which shoe that you miss out on due to these reasons and we can chop it up in the comment section. Hit that like button. Also, make sure you follow me on all forms of social media. IG, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. I'm on all forms of social media. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.